Hey guys, it's Brittany. So, today's going to be a paranormal video. But before I get into that, and in case you're wondering what that is um, beneath his picture, it is actually his resume list of movies he starred in and TV shows and even um, Broadway plays as well. So in case you're wondering, and again, just so very handsome, <laughs> I can't help it, but uh, you already know that. <laughs> so anyway, um, so the paranormal experience I'm about to share with you is something that happened I believe it was back in 2011 yeah I believe so and so so when this happened it happened once but it hasn't happened since then so so at the time so back in 2011 me and my family were living in a two-story house um, in California and um, in Hemet and so so what happened was that okay it was just like it, it, any other day and so on this day what happened was I was in my room I was watching TV and I don't know what I was watching, maybe a show or maybe a movie, maybe something. And so as I'm watching TV, all of a sudden I see the doorknob moving, turning. And I, I got to mention of which I think is important is that the, the kind of doorknobs um, that this um, bedroom had and um, throughout the house. It wasn't like a round doorknob like that, you know, nothing like a round or like oval or anything, but it was more like a, a handle, you know, those door handles you see where it's like, where it kind of curves like that. So I had that kind of doorknob where it's like a doorknob handle. So okay. What happened was, I'm sitting right here, um, okay, but the room was situated different because my room, um, so the bed was here, and over here is like, um, the windows to outside, and the blinds, and right here, so not here, but right here was, so right here was, um, the closet, and over here was, um, where the bedroom door was at. So it was just a little further away from from the bed, but not too far. And so as I'm sitting on my bed watching TV like this, and then in the corner of my eye, I see the doorknob moving. And when it's moving, it was like, um, <laughs> how do I even describe it? So it's more like it, I saw it moving like, that and then it it opened something someone was opening my door like slowly like this and then closed it so as i'm seeing this in the corner of my eye i also turned my head but when i turned my head it was still moving on its own and so as that happened i remember from this side of the bed, I, you know, got up from my bed and I'm walking slowly towards my bedroom door. But as I'm walking slowly um, to the bedroom door, that was still happening because I see it again. So, okay, imagine this. I'm walking slowly right here, walking slowly, of course. <laughs> and so, um, so as I'm walking quietly, slow to the door, it does it again. Like, so after it closed, it moved like 
like that and it did that a little bit like it opened a little and then it did that so it closed itself it didn't so when this happened it didn't happen just once but twice but the first time it happened is when I was uh, right in the corner of my eye and when I turned my head and it did that when I was still sitting on the bed and the second time that happened is when I was actually walking right towards the door and it was and it opened slowly and closed slowly quietly but it happened right in front of me <laughs> now this is just bizarre because nothing like that has happened so after after I just stood there in front of the door like this and I'm looking at it I'm looking at the door handle you know the doorknob and I'm like okay it's not moving I mean I could do a demonstration for you but that would mean I would have to face that way if that's okay okay uh, uh, hang on <clears throat> my throat's a little dry so hang on Okay, if I'm going to do a demonstration, not of the door opening itself, but maybe of just standing near the door. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, hello. Okay, so right now I'm about to walk up to the door, just so you know just how I was walking up towards the door, because I was taking it slow very quietly so this is what was going on in, in case you can hear me so I'm walking towards if you can see me that is let me move it this way so I'm walking towards the door like right here so I pretty much stopped right here and I'm looking at the doorknob staring at it and so as I'm staring at the doorknob like that right there it doesn't move it doesn't move <laughs> I'm sorry about that I know that might have looked silly but that's okay because you know uh, that's that's what I do. You know, not only am I a very honest person, but of course I I do have a fun and silly side because, you know, I can be funny at times, you know, when I want to be. And so that's what happened is that as I had, um, s s um, ugh, I can't get the words out. As I was standing right in front of um, the door like that. I'm pretty much staring at it like this. And as I'm staring at it, it doesn't move. So when I was standing there for, I'll say, kind of long, I'm not sure how long, maybe a minute or so. <laughs> so after standing there, just staring at the doorknob just to see if it's going to move again, and it doesn't. But as I mentioned that when I was walking up towards it that it was opening slowly and just when I got a little closer to the door it closed slowly the second time so after it closed itself that's when I just stood there staring at it just to see if it's gonna do it again and like I said this time it does not happen and <laughs> I remember, so as I kept staring at the doorknob like this, I remember thinking, okay, was that my mom? Was that any of my sisters? Was that my niece and nephew? And as I'm going through, I thought, no, because if it was Natalie, 
my, my younger sister, that she would have at least not. She wouldn't have been playing around opening the door like that. And same thing with my older sister. I know she would have knocked on my door too. She wouldn't just be uh, like playing a prank, you know, playing a, a joke like that with opening the door like that. And same thing with my niece and nephew. You know, I know at that time they would not um, have been turning the doorknob like that, especially very quietly and very slowly because, you know, that they were little um, kids at the time. So the, the thing is, because you know how when kids open the door, sometimes it's, a, it's not as quietly or slowly, um, you know, I think it depends. So if it had been them, I would have heard at least, you know, that sounded like someone was there, like physically there opening the door. But when this was happening, there was no one physically there because there was no shadow underneath um, the crack of the door. So no one was physically standing there when this was happening. And of course, as I was walking out towards the door itself, I don't know if you heard, but that was my stomach. It wants to talk. So as I was walking out towards the door, I did not see a, a shadow that would have confirmed to me, okay, someone's physically there, because there wasn't, there was no shadow at all. I, all I saw was just like the light because the hallway light was on. And of course I could see that the light was on because you see the light that's um, on the carpet. And so that's all I saw. But not only did I saw that the light was on because you can see it on the carpet, but like I said, there was someone spiritually there that was opening my door like that and who and why I don't know now of course it could be anything it could be anyone so and here's the thing though because when this was happening I didn't get like a bad feeling like somehow someone was trying to intrude or maybe trying to um maybe somehow trying to sneak into my room you know you know like something um negative something dark so it did not felt like that it just felt like someone just wanted to get my attention and on what i don't know were they trying to either they're trying to get my attention because they wanted to know no that they wanted me to know that they were there uh, so it could be i i do think so because that's what it seemed like but who was it exactly? I don't know. I'm guessing because it, like I said, it could have been anyone because one, it could have been like, maybe this could have been maybe a guardian angel, you know, maybe that watches over me and maybe it just wanted me to know I'm here. You're not alone. I'm here watching over you and you know, maybe, maybe it wanted me to know that or maybe it was someone, maybe it was someone that had passed away in my family who did that, which I don't know who would have done that. And, or maybe it could have been someone that maybe that I admire of their work and look up to and knowing that I not only admire them for their work, but knowing that I, um, also admire them as uh, the, the person that they were and just even love them for the, the kind of person that they were so maybe they just wanted to let me know um, I'm here is maybe I, I, I don't know I just don't know who could have been like I said I really don't know but that was interesting and since then that has not happened. It hasn't happened since then. I don't know why, but but the, in a way, it kind of reminded me of Jurassic Park, 
a little bit, although this was not, <laughs> this was not a Velociraptor, this was something more paranormal, this was spiritual, so, yeah, that's what happened, <laughs> so, and I gotta say, because after this happened, and after staring at the doorknob and thinking, who could have been, but then I'm like, no, it couldn't have been my mom, could have been my sisters, or anyone else in my family, <laughs> so, after going through it in my head, and since knowing that I did not see a shadow, which there is no shadow to uh, to confirm that there was someone physically there, because there wasn't. So this was, in fact, paranormal. So it was like... Now, of course, when this happened, I didn't got freaked out. I wasn't scared, but I was more like... Because when this was happening, you know, because if I was scared, I probably would have backed up, you know, on my bed and I would have been like, okay, whoever's there, please just leave me alone, you know, but no, I did not get scared. I was more like, okay, someone's opening my door, so maybe I should get up and investi investigate, and that's what I did. Because <laughs> I don't know when it comes to the paranormal, I feel like I'm a little bit more brave to go and look and search to investigate of what it was that I saw or what I heard and it's like okay I'm now more intrigued by it and I'd rather in, in, investigate it you know because like I said I'm more brave when it comes to that so yeah uh, mm, mm. <laughs> oh gosh my throat just got so dry all of a sudden I don't know why. Could be the talking. Could be. But anyway, I'm sorry this video is kind of going on for long, but I hope you guys don't mind. Oh, the Mari, that's what I was going to say. So, after staring at the doorknob for quite some time, and after going through it in my head, I'm like, no, this was definitely paranormal. Someone, someone, in spirit, whoever, guardian angel, or someone in the family who had passed away, or maybe, maybe anyone at all, maybe, like I said, even, even those who I admire and who inspire me, and maybe they were just there and just wanted to let me know they were there could be but I don't know and so like I said after staring at the doorknob I remember I took my hand well so I remember I reached out for the doorknob and I turned it because of course it, it was unlocked well of course because how would it open if it was locked so anyway um as I opened the door with my hand I looked because there was a hallway upstairs so I looked this way and of course that way was um, uh, the master bedroom and over here there's um, the other bedroom which was my sister's bedroom and over here so on this side was the bathroom but over there was um, the hallway again that led to downstairs and so as I'm looking around, I'm like, okay, no one is up here. And my elder sister, no, my younger sister was upstairs, but she was in her room, so it wasn't her. And like I said, I know it wasn't anyone else I've done that because everyone else was downstairs. So this, like I said, this was in fact paranormal. Someone, yeah, like I said, someone in spirit some kind of spirit opened my door and was opening like opening my door like that but twice like it happened like that but it happened when it when I saw in the corner of my eye and when I turned my head to look at it as it was happening and it happened the second time just as I'm walking slowly towards the door and as I got a little closer 
that's when it just closed and that was the second time <laughs> so like I said this was um, bizarre and like I said this has never happened again but like I said again I didn't felt anything negative from it but now the only thing is is that I do think I probably would have felt that if uh, okay let's say this for instance let's say instead of the, the door opening slowly you know opening and closing slowly twice but let's say if instead of the door if somehow the door was just swung open in like really fast and hard and all of a sudden it was like boom and if if it was something like that, then I think that would have really startled me. And I I do think I would have felt like, okay, something just happened here. The door just swung open so fast, so hard, and it hit the wall. Like it, you know, made this big, loud uh, thud sound. And okay, like, uh, okay, I'm not getting a good feeling about this. So if it was more like that... The, yeah, oh, so that would not have been good. That would have been terrifying if that had happened. And it would have been more terrifying not only if it had swung open really hard, but also if it just slammed the door. If the door all of a sudden just went this way and it just slammed. That would have been more terrifying. And so I'm glad that didn't happen. But instead it was just the opposite. Where it's like, oh, it's opening slowly losing slowly so <laughs> I'm just glad that it was that at least so I do think someone was trying to get my attention so anyway um sorry for going on just a little bit on here but I could uh, I can't speak I hope <laughs> I hope you guys um and enjoy this um, video so and let me know what you think of it because this was oh my gosh this was crazy by the same time it was just like so interesting so anyway let me know what you think and so yeah like the video and so for more movie content reactions streams and the paranormal subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified when I upload. That is all for today. And I'll see you at the movies.